Actually, we are a tier one to, uh, to the OEMs, so we are implementing actually the connectivity solutions which are available today uh, into, into the head unit. But as well, we are looking into new concepts, uh, what is next actually for connectivity, how this should, could be improved and uh, finding new ways there, prototyping this, discussing this with our customers. So this is actually the role which I have within, within Alpine to, to work on, on new, new concepts, new ideas, how to connect the cars towards the cloud and also to smart devices. I think the first thing is uh, we have to have a, a common ground to start with. So for me, the most important thing is to define a common standard, how we want to exchange the data between the car and the cloud or, or the smart devices. Because without that, uh, there is a many-to-many uh, -many connection between different application providers, service providers, different OEMs. Uh, so it is quite a lot of effort uh, to, uh, to have this data service available. So I think we should reduce this effort to have a common standard and then on top of that, I think there's a lot of possibility to create business models uh, and generate revenue out of the data. I think uh, when you have, have the connection from the car to the cloud, actually, there's a huge opportunity what you can do with the data which is coming from the car inside the cloud. So I think it's not a good idea to just reuse the data uh, which is in the car, but we, you should uh, add additional data from other uh, uh, services or other uh, information sources, combine this data in a clever way, and then bring it back to the customer. One example, for example, uh, would be if you have a, a dynamic suspension, which can be programmed, for example, and you, you have a sports car, and uh, you go to a racetrack with your sports car. And there is maybe today you have the option downloading additional settings for your suspension, which are pre-settings, which is maybe okay, but I think people would not be interested in paying so much for it. But uh, if you would offer them, okay, we have the data of the last 200 people drove this your vehicle actually on this test track, and we optimize this data to have the optimal settings for, for you, for your car, for this, this track. I think people get more attractive in, in getting, getting this information and also willingness to pay. So combining the data and then off, make an offering to the, to the customer is actually something which I think is very valuable. And I think this is the way we can earn money out of, of the data there. So innovation is necessary, but uh, yeah, some people, especially on the engineering side, like to innovate just be yeah, because they like the technology, but they don't have the, the customer in mind. So I think we should have a focus on a customer, what is the customer needs, and then based on the needs, we should try to innovate. Yeah, so that technology is after the customer. So uh, the customer first looking into what is really he wants to have, and then try to find out how to do it best. And when the innovation comes from that, I think it's a very useful uh, innovation. If the innovation is just becoming because, okay, there's a new technology available, and now we try to find out how to use them, then maybe we don't uh, yeah, fit the needs of the customer itself. It was a very nice and interesting show so far for me. I, I, I learned a lot uh, during the discussions and uh, the panels and I joined the panel as well today. Uh, we discussed about uh, the potentials of uh, creating revenues out of the dashboard, which was quite interesting. Um, yeah, so far a brilliant show. Uh, the Connected Cars 2016, so would recommend everyone to join, to join next year.